Hey guys, Craig Stewart here, and in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to show you one of my favorite methods for making primitive cordage, and that's called the reverse wrap. The thing about natural cordage, like this piece of raffia palm right here, is that by itself, it's not very strong. And that goes for a lot of primitive cordage, whether it's bark fibers or plant fibers or whatever you might find, even in an urban survival scenario. Individually, it's not very strong, but there is a method called the reverse wrap by which you can twist and weave, I guess is the best word for it, this cordage into a very strong, exponentially more strong usable rope than if these fibers were by themselves. And I'm going to show you that in this video. It all starts by gathering, by taking one of your fibers that you have, one piece, one strand, and finding, I don't know, about a three quarters way point on this fiber. You do not want to start in the middle. So we're going to start about a three quarters way mark. Okay. I'm going to, sometimes if your hands are really dry, like mine are today, I'm just going to wet them a little bit. And now I'm going to take this fiber, I'm going to pinch it my, between my index finger and my thumb about one inch apart. With my right hand, I'm going to twist away from me. And with my left hand, I'm going to twist toward me. Okay. When I keep twisting away with my right and toward me with my left, eventually that little one inch piece in the middle is going to form a little kink. When it does, we're going to pinch that kink in between our index finger and our thumb finger. You have to do everything re in reverse if you're left handed. I'm right handed. You're going to pitch that kink in your left hand and then we're going to start weaving, start reverse wrapping our cord. And what we do when we reverse wrap is we twist the top piece, a couple of good twists away from us, and then we take the bottom one and we rotate the top down front and the bottom is now on the top twisted up behind us. So we go, now we take our bottom piece, well our new top piece, which was our former bottom piece, we twist it away from us and then twist the whole thing toward us. Take our top piece, we twist it away from us twist both pieces toward us so that they're twisting back up on each other. Twist away from us on top, twist both pieces toward us. Away from us on top, both pieces toward us. So what this is doing is we're twisting away, then we're twisting both pieces toward us. We're creating what looks like a modern piece of rope out of primitive cordage. It's really an incredible process and one that primitive cultures use to make ropes for nets and fishing and clothing and traps and all types of different survival applications. The great thing about the reverse wrap is it doesn't come undone when you let it go because it's a method of twisting and then reverse twisting upon itself. So you would just keep on going in this method until you ran out of one strand. Now here's the deal. This is why so let's pretend I just had kept on going for a minute and I've run out of this strand right here. Okay. Now, if I had started that rope in the middle, I would have two ends that ran out at the same exact time. So I'd have to splice two more pieces in at the same spot, which creates a weakness in the rope. But in this instance, I'm only going to have to splice one end in so it's alternating splices which does not create a weakness in the rope. So we're going to lay this piece in, we're going to twist it to the tail as if it's part of that tail and we just have the new piece and we're going to keep twisting. We're going to pretend like that little tail and that new piece is just that one single strand again. We're going to keep doing that and then we're going to come through and just cut this little piece off, this little tag off in the middle of that rope later. And so we just keep splicing in pieces similar to this size until our reverse wrapped cordage is as long as we need it to be. Now, if you want to make thicker rope, you can theoretically reverse reverse wrap reverse wrapped cordage. You could take two reverse wrapped pieces and reverse, reverse wrap them together. Uh, but I'm a bigger fan of just reverse wrapping larger clumps of material to
to make a larger rope. So instead of one strand, we start with five or six strands bundled together and those all get twisted simultaneously and ra reverse wrapped with another bundle of five or six strands, which creates a much larger and stronger piece of rope. Now, because I want you to think of reverse cordage wrapping and practice it in all areas of your life, I'm gonna plant two seeds in your mind that I hope you'll never forget. And one of those is a straw. Everybody goes out to eat and everybody pushes this straw paper off of their straw. Well, when you do that, I want this to be forever embedded in your mind to reverse wrap this straw cordage, okay? So the next time you're at a restaurant, I want you to take a piece of straw cordage. I want you to reverse wrap that to create a little mini rope. Got to have something to do while you're waiting for your food, right? You might as well reverse wrap cordage in practice. Otherwise, you're going to forget this stuff. Okay, so we're just going to keep doing that and create a really awesome little reverse wrapped piece of cordage. Now, I also want you to think about me when you're using the bathroom, okay? So while you're sitting on the pot, I want you to pull off some of your toilet paper, and I want you to make what I affectionately refer to as prison rope, okay? You're going to reverse wrap toilet paper. And believe it or not, this actually makes, a, as long as you don't get it wet, this actually makes a really strong piece of cordage. I can hold about a 15 pound weight with reverse wrapped toilet paper, believe it or not. And it's also a great time to practice. I mean, you might as well be productive. Otherwise, you're just going to be looking at Instagram on your phone. Might as well make some, make some reverse wrap cordage. And if you really want to try something fun, you can make a piece long enough. And while you're sitting there, you can actually like throw something out and try to like lasso it with your reverse wrap toilet paper. Really use it for like a survival scenario. So there you go, reverse wrapped toilet paper or prison rope. Remember friends, it's not if, but when. <laughs>